This is Chris's vowel mnemonic that will help you for every single solitary scenario that is A, E, I, O, U, and Y. If you remember the vowel mnemonic, you will always remember how to take care of anybody no matter what's going on. A, assessment. You assess, you assess the airway. E, put the EKG on. I, get an IV in. This you're telling your other people to do. O, make sure there's some supplemental oxygen on the patient. U, you go for help. You run, get help, get the, a, get the AICD. Go get 911. And why is, why is this happening? And we go back to the six H's and five T's. Why is this happening? That's the vowel mnemonic. Always worth pulling out. Make sure you cover all the basic. It'll keep you from forgetting things like giving oxygen or putting in an IV or putting on an EKG. All right, so we have ventricular fibrillation. You can see it on that monitor. You can see it on this monitor. So we put the monitors on the patient. Let's go through our A, E, I, O, U, Y real quick, just for completeness sake. We're going to assess the patient while we can see he's in trouble. E, we get the EKG on. I, someone put an IV in for us. O, oxygen, we'll be mask ventilating. U, you go get help. And why, why did this happen? The six H's and the five T's. But since we're in V-fib, we're going to let Dr. Jacob come in here and show you exactly what we do with the defibrillator to defibrillate someone. We're going to assume someone is mask ventilating. We're just going to show you the electrical part of things. So Dr. Jacob, go ahead. First thing he does is we go right for defibrillation. Whether you're doing an AICD or you have the pads, all right? So what am I going to set this at? I don't want to set it at monitor. What do I want to set it at? I'm going to turn it to defib. Okay, and you can see on this other thing I've turned it to defib. I'm going to go to energy select, okay? And I'm going to go up to 200. You'll notice it's a biphasic. All right, this is biphasic. And now I'm, since I've done the energy select, the next thing we do is we're going to charge, okay? Now, for safety's sake, so nobody gets hurt, I am gonna turn this down, but we will keep in mind this would be 200 joules biphasic, all right? So I'm gonna turn that energy down just so nobody gets hurt. God forbid Dr. Jacob touches something there. Now I'm going to charge. We are, you hear the whistle, things are charging. We yeah. make sure everybody's clear and then we shock. All right, so I put shock is delivered and the patient is still in V-fib. What do we do then? All right, and here's a little bit of a change in thinking. In days of yore, we used to shock three times. The main difference now is we do chest compressions right away. So we shock, we do chest compressions, and then we move on. Now, a word about chest compressions. The chest compressions should be fast and hard. That's the thing to remember, fast and hard. So you want to put all your weight in. You want to make sure that you depress at least one and a half to two inches. You're not going to actually measure it with a ruler or anything, but you want to get full compressions and full re recoil. That allows the heart to fill. We go in the mid dimple line, right in the middle, and you should go at this really hard. Even a fit person should be, and I'm not fit, should get tired after about two minutes of doing CPR. We do this doing 30 compressions and two breaths, if the patient's using bag, if we're using bag mass ventilation, 30 to 2, 30 to 2. We do that for five cycles, five cycles. Only then do we go back to reanalyzing the rhythm and then shocking again. So again, let's go through the sequence. Someone's in V-fib. We defibrillate them immediately afterwards. We do chest compressions. Key element here, don't delay for chest compressions. We go through five cycles. We analyze, shock again. Now we've shocked twice. Then we can move on to drugs, giving either vasopressin or epinephrine. Then another round of compressions. After that, you shock again, and then you consider an antiarrhythmic, such as amiodarone.